Hey, what's up people? Today a little bit different, uh, not about cars, but about musical instruments. So I have a piano here, which is a Kawai CL36 series piano and the sustain pedal has stopped working. So this has an optical sensor and uh, when you depress it, nothing happens anymore. So it's just kind of gone. Now, I've been searching high and low online to find a replacement for this and I haven't been able to find any. Called a couple of music shops and that doesn't work either. So the pedal connector is at the back here and it's the six pin socket. And of course, this is the corresponding one on the cable. So what I did, I actually sliced up the cable right here and started rewiring it to uh, use the damper pedal as the sustain pedal, right? So I actually sacrificed the sustain and there's no damper on this at the moment. As you can see here, that's the green disconnected. So I actually made a note here what everything is. So that is, uh, you know, blue was sustain, green damper, black is power, yellow sostenuto, and red is power, and the shielding is the earth. And uh, I swapped out the green and the blue, and that works. However, you know, it's kind of weird playing sustain with your left foot and I lose a damper pedal. So I wanted to come up with a slightly better solution than what I have here. So after searching around online for a bit, I came across the F350 unit, which is actually for the Kawai ES110, so it's not at all for the CL36, and uh, I couldn't find any parts for that one, and so I tried to see if that would actually fit. So that's the F350 unit there. You can see that the crossbar uh, is actually slightly too short, so you can't just fit that in like for like. But this pedal unit here, by the looks of it, has exactly the same screw points, so I should be able to swap it out with the existing one there. And the other thing is, of course, the pin that it comes with is exactly the same one with the same coloring, um, so that should work just fine. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to unscrew this, unscrew that, swap them over, recable it, and let's see if this works. So to remove this unit is pretty simple. You got a uh, Phillips head screwdriver. There are eight screws in total. There's two down here, so make sure you have a magnetic head screwdriver, otherwise it will be really hard to get those out. And you have the screws here along the side. So detach that and, of course, uh, remove the cable from the uh, wire wraps here. Now, if for some reason your old crossbar is actually broken, you can use a new one. But like I said here, this doesn't fit exactly. So what you would want is to find some, some wood that you can wedge in between here and color that black, screw it in so you can bridge that gap. Um, or if you can find any other sort of steel brace or whatever to attach that. But a piece of wood would just work just fine. And then you can just screw it in right from the bottom. And then you can even bridge that gap if your crossbar is broken. All right, uh, with the old and in with the new. Um, the new screws actually do look really similar to the old ones, but I am going to use the old ones to not tire out the wood too much. So let me just get that mounted. And here we go, it fits like a glove. All the screw holes align perfectly, which makes me think that this is exactly the same unit. So uh, thank you Kawaii for recycling your back catalog of units here. And then of course the cable runs through, goes up through the side and into the pin. So, moment of truth. All right, here we are. The piano is back and set up. Let's try out these pedals. So, sustain. Beautiful, that works. Let's try the sostenuto. Great, that works too. And last but not least, we have the damper. Great, that works. Damper and sustain. Perfect. So this works flawlessly. So if you have the same kind of problem, I've shown you the steps and how to replace that using the Kawai F350 pedal board. So that fits on your CL36. And uh, before I wrap up here, I would like to give a big shout out to Karst at Oostendorp Music here in the Netherlands. They've been very helpful in uh, advising me on what to get. And they also allowed me to return the pedal unit to them if this didn't work. But as you can see, it works. So if that was helpful to you, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more repairs and stuff.